Adding audio to a game really helps fill out the overall virtual space. Whether it be functional, such as audio cues that let you know that a monster or jump scare is coming, or whether it just be general things that you hear because of the environment you're in, such as lights buzzing in an office or birds chirping in a forest. All these things really help fill out the overall space. But one little audio detail that can really help put a player on edge, especially in horror games, is footsteps. Footsteps are one of those things that can really let the player know that the monster can hear you and that they might actually hear you when they hear those footsteps moving around. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can set footsteps as an audio cue, as well as how you can actually set so footsteps only activate when you're actually moving around an environment. So with that, let's jump right in the video. All right, so let me go and show you how all this functions. So the way I have this set up is I have a VR character for the locomotion movement. Um, I believe I've done pre uh, I've done videos previously um, showing you uh, how to set up locomotion. Uh, if you want to go check that out first, I'll be showing you how to set that up here too with the footstep sounds as well. So you don't have to go back, but that might go a little bit more. Um, and the specifics as to why it's usually better to uh, to have a character rather than a pawn. So anyways, let me go and show you. So if I have it tied to my left thumbstick, so if I go and move, hopefully you should be able to hear there's footsteps playing. And if you listen closely you might even hear a little bit of variation in there so the way that this is working is i have a set of five uh, footstep sounds these are actually included from an asset pack i'll be showing you guys what that asset pack is um, i believe it's the uh, survival sounds if i recall I'll, ha I'll have a link to it in the description as well so uh, it, it takes five of those footstep sounds it chooses one at random and then it plays it and then it plays that on a looping pattern as well and it'll only play so long as i'm actually moving the moment i stop the sound itself stops and there's nothing else so yeah so that's it functioning it's very simple um it, it helps add in just a little bit more sound into your game um if you're just looking to add in a little something additional so let me go and jump into the video and i'll show you exactly how you can set this up for yourself the first thing we're going to need is we're going to need some footstep sounds. In this case, I'm using some audio from the Survival Sound Pack Volume 2. I'll have a link to that down in the description if you want to go and check that out for yourself. Once you have your footstep sounds, next thing we need to do is we need to create a sound cue. You can do this by right clicking and going down to audio and clicking sound cue. This will create a sound cue asset that we're going to use in order to create our footstep sounds as well as randomize these and put them in a loop all for us. Once you've created this sound cue, go ahead and open it up. And then you also want to go ahead and open up the content browser and drag those same sound effects that you're going to be using into the sound cue. This will give you access to them so that way you're able to actually use them in this sound cue. Once you have them in the sound queue, first step, we need to figure out which one we're going to run by randomizing. We can go and feed all five of the sound effects that I'm going to be using for this example into a randomized node. And then from that, we can feed the randomize into looping. This will allow for us to take any of these sounds at random and then run it in a looping pattern when we're actually walking. So that way all we have to do is either hit play when we start walking and stop when we stop. Once this is all done and you've gone ahead and fed the looping into the output node, go ahead and close down the sound cue and next we need a VR character. For this example, I'm going to create a new VR character rather than modifying our VR pawn. So I'm going to go and create a new folder called blueprints and in here I'm going to create a blueprint class of type character. Once we have this open, before we start adding in any sound effects, first thing we need to do is we need to get set up for VR. In order to do this, we're first going to want to set our capsule to a one by one radius. And then we also want to add in a camera as well as two motion controller components all set up so that way we're already ready to go. Thank you. 
Once you have all your VR setup complete, let's go ahead and start on our footsteps. To do this, we first need to add in an audio component. Then in our audio component, we need to go ahead and set our actual sound cue that we just made. We also need to disable auto activate, so that way later on, we don't automatically start off by having our footsteps playing, even if we're not moving. Once this is all done, next we can go and jump into the event graph. First things first, I'm going to go ahead and remove everything that's here because we're not going to be using anything. And then I want to pull in the movement axis left X and the movement axis left Y for our movement. Locomotion movement is pretty simple, and like I said, I've done this in a previous tutorial if you want a more in-depth explanation. But basically what we'll be doing is we'll go ahead and drop in our character movement component into the event graph, add an input vector, and then the input vector's world vector is going to be a combination of our motion control left's right vector for our x, along with our multiplied axis value. Then once you have these set up, you can also go ahead and copy all this code, bring it down to Y, and the only thing you need to change here is you need to change it so instead of right vector, we're using the forward vector on our motion control to the left. Once you have locomotion all set up, now we need to actually get started on the footstep sounds. First things first, we're going to go ahead and grab both of the nodes off of our add input, both of our output nodes, and we're going to combine them into a single reroute node. In addition to this, we're also going to grab the axis values from each of our input actions, and then we're going to go ahead and check to see if they're nearly equal to zero. Now that we have all this in place, let's go ahead and play our sounds. To do this, I'm going to add both of our nearly equal to floats, and then I'm going to pass these into a branch. Once in this branch, we'll start with the false. On false, we're going to run into a do once, and then we're going to grab the footstep audio, and we're going to hit play. Now the reason we're doing a do once and we're not just letting it play is because if we just keep on playing, 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 and playing, we may actually reach a point where our audio is just constantly playing over and over and over again. And if the very start of that audio doesn't have any sound at all, it takes maybe half a second, then you may not even hear anything and you really won't have any idea that the audio is actually playing. So we wanna make sure that this only plays once and no more. Then on the true for our branch, we're again going to want to run through a do once, but this time we're going to want to stop on our footstep audio. Once these are complete as well, we also want to go ahead and reset the opposing do once by simply taking our output from our play and stop and running it across to the opposite do once. And that's it, you now have a very simple footstep sound that's going to play so long as you're actually moving in the game. It's really that simple to add in and it doesn't take very much time at all. With that, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like the subscribe button down below. And also I'll give a quick shout out to my Patreon supporters. And with that, I'll see you in the next reality.